Today, we will talk about solving word problems involving division of fractions. But first, let's have a short recall on how to divide fractions and mixed fractions. So these are the steps that we'll follow. First, we change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Then, we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Next, if the product is an improper fraction, we change it into a mixed number. And finally, we reduce our answer to simplest form. Now, let's try to solve the following word problems. For our problem number one, we have Arthur is having an online class for 8 tenths hour. He stopped for a break and do some stretching every two-fifths hour. How many times did he stop? Now, let us recall how to solve word problems. The first step is to analyze the problem. So in here, we are asked to find how many times did he stop for a break. It is stated in the problem that Arthur stopped to do some stretching every two-fifths hour. Okay? So that means we need to find how many two-fifths hour are there in the whole duration of his online class, which is eight-tenths hour. So for our solution, we'll follow the ESSA form, which stands for equation, solution, and answer. So let's start with the equation. Again, we need to know how many two-fifths hour are there in eight-tenths hour. So our solution will be eight-tenths divided by two-fifths is equal to n. Now let us remember how to divide simple fractions. And the first step is to multiply the dividend, which is the 8 tenths, by the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 2 fifths. The reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. Because again, to find the reciprocal of a fraction, we simply have to change or switch the position of the numerator and the denominator. So we'll have 5 halves. Then, we multiply the numerators. 8 times 5 is 40. And we multiply as well the denominators, which is 10 times 2 is equal to 20. Our answer here is an improper fraction, so that means we have to change it or simplify it. Okay? And for us to do that, we'll simply divide the numerator and the denominator. And 40 divided by 20 is 2. 2 times 20 is 40. Since there is no remainder, that means our final answer is just a whole number 2. Therefore, Arthur stopped for a break 2 times. Now, let's proceed to our next example. How many 1 16th pieces of paper can be cut from a 4 8 piece of paper? So, in this case, you are asked how many 1 16th pieces of paper are there in a 4 eighths piece of paper. Again, for us to answer this problem, we'll follow the ESSA form. And for our solution, we'll have 4 eighths divided by 1 16th. Because again, we are asked to find how many 1 16th pieces are there in 4 eighths piece of paper. So for us to solve this, we'll multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 16 over 1, or simply 16, because any number whose denominator is 1 is equal to the numerator itself. Now, let's multiply the numerators. 4 times 16, that will give us 64. And 8 times 1 is 8. Again, we have here an improper fraction, so that means we'll divide the numerator and the denominator. And 64 divided by 8 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Okay. Again, we do not have a remainder. That means our final answer is just a whole number 8. So, there are 8 pieces of 116 paper which can be cut from 4 8 pieces of paper. Next, how many 4 8 meter pieces of lace can be cut from a 40 meters of lace? So, this question is almost the same as what we had in problem number 2. But in this case, we are asked to find how many 4 eighths are there in 40. So for our equation, we'll have 40 divided by 
4 eighths. And again, to solve this problem, we'll have to multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Since our divisor is 4 eighths, then its reciprocal is 8 over 4. Then, 40 times 8 will give us 320. Then we just copy the denominator 4. Again, our answer here is an improper fraction, so that means we'll have to divide the numerator by the denominator. 3 divided by 4 is 0, so let's include the next digit. 32 divided by 4 is 8, and 8 times 4 is 32. Then we'll have to bring down 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0, and 0 times 4 is 0, so there's no more remainder. That means 320 divided by 4 or 320 over 4 is simplified as 80. <coughs> that means if there are 80 pieces of 4 eighths meter of lace which can be cut from a 40 meters of lace. Next problem, Mika has 6 meters of cloth. She will use it for making scarves. How many scarves can she make if each scarf needs 2 thirds meter? So again, for us to solve the problem, we need to find how many 2 thirds are there in 6 meters because again each scarf needs 2 thirds meter and what she has is 6 meters. So for our equation we'll have 6 meters divided by 2 thirds. So again let's multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor so that will be 3 halves. Okay, 6 times 3 is 18, then we'll have to copy the denominator 2. 18 over 2 is improper, so let's divide 18 and 2, and that will give us 9. 18 minus 18 is 0, so our final answer is a whole number 9. Therefore, she can make 9 pieces of scarves. Let's have problem number 5. In a newspaper drive, four classes collected one half kilogram, one third kilogram, one fourth kilogram, and one fifth kilogram. What is the average collection per class? In this problem, we are asked to find the average. When you see the word average, it means that the operation that we will use is division. But what will we divide? When you say average, it means we need to add all these numbers and divide the sum by the number of add-ins we have. So that our equation will be one half plus one third plus one fourth plus one fifth. Again, we have to get first the sum of these fractions, then we divide it by the number of addends. In here we have one, two, three, four addends. So we divide the sum of these by four and that will give us the average. So let's solve one half plus one third plus one-fourth plus one-fifth. We have here four dissimilar fractions. So in this case, I will not use the butterfly method because that will make our solution longer. So instead, let's find the LCD of 2, 3, 4, and 5 using continuous division method for LCM. So let's have 2, 3, 4, and 5. Two of the numbers here are divisible by a common factor, and that is, those are 2 and 4. So let's divide them by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 3 is not divisible by 2, so let's copy 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 5 is not divisible by 2, so let's copy 5. In 1, 3, 2, and 5, they don't have any common factor aside from 1, so that means we'll stop dividing here. And let's multiply 2 times 1, that will give us 2 times 3, that's 6 times 2, 12, times 5, it's 60. So the LCD of 2, 3, 4, and 5 is 60. Now let's change our fractions into similar fractions by dividing the LCD to the old denominator. 60 divided by 2 is 30 times 1, that will give us 30. 60 divided by 3 is 20 times 1, that will be 20. 60 divided by 4 is 15 times 1, that will give us 15. And 60 divided by 5 is 12 times 1, that will give us 12. Now, we have here similar fractions. So let's add the numerators. 30 plus 20 is 50, plus 15, 65, plus 12 is 77. 
then we copy the common denominator which is 60. 77 over 60 is improper so let's change it into a mixed number. So let's divide 77 and 60. We have 1, 1 times 60 is 60 and that will give us a remainder 17. So we have here a whole number 1. The remainder will be the numerator. The divisor will be the denominator. So our final answer now will be 1 and 17 over 60. Therefore, the average collection per class is 1 and 17 over 60 kilograms. Now let's have our last example. Jenny has 10 and 1 half kilograms of mangoes. She kept 4 kilograms for her family and shared the rest equally among her two brothers. How many kilograms of mangoes will each brother get? This problem here involves two operations. Why is that? Because if you will analyze the problem, we are asked to find the number of kilograms of mangoes each brother get. She originally has, or Jenny originally has, 10 and 1 half kilograms of mangoes. But in the problem, it was stated that she kept 4 kilograms. When you say kept, it means that the operation involved there is subtraction. Then, she shared the rest, or meaning to say the remaining, after she subtracted 4 kilograms from 10 and 1 half kilograms to her brothers, which are 2 brothers. Okay, So in here, we will do subtraction and division so let's have our equation we have 10 and 1 half minus 4 because again she kept 4 kilograms for her family then the remaining after subtracting was divided among her two brothers so we'll have to do division here okay now let's solve let's start first with the subtraction as is stated in the problem so let's have 10 and 1 half minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. Then 1 half minus, there's no fraction here. So we'll just copy the 1 half. Okay, so what remained or what was left is 6 and 1 half kilograms. And this is what she divided equally among her two brothers. So let's proceed to the next solution. 6 and 1 half divided by 2. Let us recall how to divide mixed number and a whole number. Whenever we have a mixed number, we have to change it first into an improper fraction. So 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1, that's 13. Then we copy the denominator 2. Then we multiply this new dividend now by the reciprocal of 2. 2 has a denominator 1 here, so its reciprocal is 1 half. Okay, now let's proceed. 13 times 1 is 13. 2 times 2 is 4. 13 over 4 is an improper fraction. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator. 13 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Then we'll have a remainder 1. So that means 13 over 4 is simplified as the whole number 3 will be written here. The remainder will be the numerator and the divisor will be the denominator. So our final answer now is 3 and 1 fourths. Therefore, each of her brother got 3 and 1 fourth kilograms of mangoes. And that's it for our lesson for today. You did very well.